Hello folks and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today's video, we're diving into the top 10 Google Calendar tips and hacks that you could use to get started. Now, some of these might be new to you or they could be a recap of stuff that you can already do in Google Calendar. Let's go over what you can do. So the first of those tips is to look and find a third party application. There are so many great calendar applications out there that definitely can be used with Google Calendar. Let's take the likes of Moleskin Time Page, which is available on iOS. It is the most stunning looking application on the market. It brings up weather, helps you plan your commute, and it just works perfectly. And you can use it alongside Google Calendar. Second tip is to use dual time zones. If you hit the settings cog and then press settings, you can go to time zone and just above it, you can press display secondary time zone and you can add an additional one. I tend to do this with San Francisco time because when I'm planning meetings, it helps me to learn the time zone and really handy for planning and working out what their time is. The third option is down in the settings view options. You can actually select and deselect show weekends, which might be particularly helpful when you're trying to plan ahead. Tip number four, if you're someone that wants to start using week numbers as a way to plan your week ahead, then Google Calendar allows you to view and show week numbers. That's also available in the view options section. So tip number five, if you're looking to reduce the brightness of past events, you can also do this through the view options section. And this is particularly helpful for bringing out the contrast in a fresh event, ones that are coming up and ones that have passed and been. So if you're someone that has set working hours, this might be useful when it comes to setting time and dedicated hours on specific days. You can allocate specific time for you that you're available for meetings. This is particularly helpful when people are trying to find the time on your calendar. So you can let people know when you're working or available for meetings. You can really customize this as well, even setting weekend days and specific times and even copy them for all. So tip number seven, there's a great feature in event settings called speedy meetings. Speedy meetings help you to end your default duration meetings. For example, they can end 30 minute meetings five minutes early and longer meetings 10 minutes early in an attempt to try and bring the overall meeting time down. This is particularly helpful when you're trying to get through something that doesn't necessarily need to take that long. So inside of general, you can also turn your calendar offline. This is perfect for if you're traveling on a train or something like that and you want to be able to have the calendar offline and you can Turn the calendar offline, which helps you to capture all that cache data. So tip number nine, if you're looking to really take your Google Calendar skills to the next level, you can download the mobile applications and when you press the plus cog in the bottom right hand corner, you can choose a goal. And this is perfect for scheduling in sessions. So for example, if you wanted to dedicate some time to meditating every single day, you can, for example, set it up so that you can set up how often, for example, three times a week, every 15 minutes, and what the time's best for you, for example, morning. Now, what it would do is it can help you connect to your health application, which means that, for example, if you wanted to log all that information, you can. And once you're done, what it would do is it automatically find time for your goals, scheduling in the sessions for you automatically and you can adjust these times if you want to. This is perfect for being able to try and hit targets like three per week, and you can connect to any of the health apps as mentioned. And our final one, inside of the Google Calendar application on web, you can use tools like add-ons. Add-ons help you to connect existing applications like Zoom, Cisco WebEx, Microsoft Teams, and other applications to be able to create instant relationships between an existing app and one that you use. So for example, you can connect your Zoom ID to your Google Calendar so it's pre-created automatically. You can connect your Rike project management account to your Google Calendar, which means that you get updates inside of your project manager as well as ways to create events through there. And also things like SMS Reminder and many more. There's a great app called Clockwise which helps you to actually get analytics and also really channel in on some focus time in your work week, deep work concepts. So folks, hopefully that was helpful. Please do make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys all very soon. Thank you very much. Cheerio.